Phasmophobia is a game that I can't stop playing since picking it up, and I say this as somebody that hates horror games. So for your sake, I will try to keep jump scares to an absolute minimum. I swear. I hear I hear Oh! 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 What is this game? Why is it popping up all over your Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch feed? The goal of the game is a simple one. Get into the house, school, or asylum, and discover which type of ghost it is with tools like an EMF reader, a thermometer, a spirit radio, a book, cameras, etc. And once you determine what type of ghost it is, you can pack up the truck and leave for XP and money to buy new tools to bring in to hunt more ghosts and you can level up to unlock higher difficulties where the ghost is way more aggressive. Now. This would normally be your average scary game of collect things and jump scare ensues. But this game is equally balanced on finding evidence as it is being scared. There isn't a trigger that happens when evidence is found. You can be hunting for five minutes or up to an hour. Each ghost feels unique and that's elevated on the fact that they will only respond to certain tools that you bring in based on which type of ghost it is. What makes this one really special though, isn't just the variety of ghosts and the tools to hunt them, but the sound design and the ways to interact with both teammates and the ghost. That's ghost you that's heard me. Steps, you can talk to the ghost. Give us a sign. Oh, oh my oh, god. Just, just what is it? What is it? It's three. It's three. It's three. She just, she just talked. <gasps> oh my god. Using Windows speech recognition, the game can recognize what you are saying and each ghost has a specific name to match. Oh my god! Oh my god, I lied! I'm so sorry, bro! The coding of the game even works so when you shout their name and make fun of them, they respond quicker and some of them will respond better when you're alone versus when your full team is present. This is the main reason why I believe this game has the potential to be the best horror game ever made. Giving the player a fear of talking, a fear of even moving, the fear of their surroundings. Now, notably, the game looks hilariously bad in some fronts. But the dark does a great job to disguise the bad looks and most of the monsters aren't that spooky at all and they all have the same kill animations right now but i want you to listen to when you're outside versus when you're inside That immersion is great and the game knows it's more about the sound and less about the visuals because they literally give you two different proximity chats which are a pain in the ass to set up but well worth it when you finally get your mic to work. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Bro, 100% I saw something, 100% I saw something. No! No! One is for normal proximity, which uses great sound location and balancing coding to place someone's voice in your left or right ear, muffled if they're far away or in a separate room, etc. And the other, a walkie talkie to talk to a player who's in the truck or far away in the buildings. The only part that's missing here is that when the ghost kills you, there's really nothing you can do. You just kind of teabag your friend in purgatory and lose all your items, which the game gives you insurance money so you can get some of them back. It's like Tarkov and Ghost Adventures all in one. One of my favorite parts of this game is knowing how tense it will be with the game determining how fast a ghost will attack with the hunt timer above the computer monitor. On amateur, this timer is five minutes, and on professional, the hardest difficulty, it will be at zero to start. Also, each player has a sanity meter, and when it reaches zero, the ghost will appear more often and hunt more frequently, with that player even hearing and seeing things that other players don't hear. It's humming, did you guys hear the humming? No. It's singing a song, bro, I'm not- Did I mention the best way to play this game is in VR? 
Yeah, I don't have a VR headset, but I've heard it's amazing and it's the best way to play this game to get the full experience of that immersion. There's so many more tools that I could go over, but I think you guys should check that out yourself when you play this game if you're thinking about picking it up. Now, I should probably tell you why I think this game has the potential to be the best horror game ever made, and that's simple. The concept is gold, and it's a technical achievement made by only a tiny team at Kinetic Games thinking outside the box and innovating a whole genre. I mean, just put yourself in that space. You're playing Paranormal Activity. You are in Ghost Adventures, except there's actually action and there's actually consequences for what you say to the ghost. I think there's a few bugs that are holding the game back a bit right now, like ghosts not giving evidence at all. So you kind of just have to guess what type of ghost it's going to be. I've heard bugs where ghosts get stuck in the wall sometimes, and sometimes ghosts just take forever to find, like in the asylum map. I lock myself in rooms by myself several times, nothing, dude. Which a lot of people say is the best, and sound-wise, I agree. There's a lot of echoing and a lot of great location, but... I don't really think the asylum map is that fun for experiencing the game because it is such a big map bugs are usually not such a big deal but in horror games the players freaked out and they're gonna do whatever is the easiest to avoid conflict you ever want to speed run outlast one what you want to do is you want to run jump off the side brings you to the end of the game I also think that horror games are such a unique genre of games because if something funny or something buggy does happen to a ghost, it breaks the immersion 100%. I'm sure Kinetic Games is on top of all of these bugs as this game only very recently came out though. I think so far what could also help this game is more ghost models, more tools to find evidence, multiple ghosts on the larger maps like Asylum, more maps in the game, and an easier way to play with friends and get into a game. It sounds like I'm saying a lot of more, 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 and I know that it's coming, and man, it gets me so excited for what this game is going to be. Please, Kinetic Games, do not screw this one up. You have a masterpiece in your hands. Nope. Nope. He's right in front of us. He's right in front of us. Get the door closed! I'm dead! <laughs> oh, oh, oh wait, he wrote, he wrote, can't run. Okay, light up this mud stick right away. Hide, 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 hide. I'm dropping it. Alright, Banshee it is. What are we right? Back. Yeah. Yes! Let's go! Dude. Kinetic Games actually even has a roadmap which looks to introduce a player controlled ghost along with a lot of quality of life fixes and they're asking players to come up with ideas for them so if that's something that interests you I'd recommend reaching out to them in some way. Anyways this is already one of my favorite horror games I have ever played and it only came out on September 18th of 2020 on early access for $14 on Steam so PC only for right now my console friends. But if you are on PC, definitely cop this one. Anyways, guys, that is Phasmophobia, one of my favorite horror games I have ever played. And this is coming from somebody that does not like horror games. Somebody who sees the potential in this game and what it can be. And man, I want you guys to play it. If you guys like this sort of change in video type, or if you're new to the channel, consider dropping a like and a sub. Comment if you'd like more of these types of videos on separate games outside of Destiny. I like making variety content, so it would mean the freaking world to me. If you guys want to watch me play this game or other games, definitely come by my Twitch channel. That's one of the best ways that you guys can support me, and honestly, I love just talking to you guys. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video, and have yourselves a wonderful night. You're you're Celsius, right? And you're part of the world slicker? Yeah. Wait, um Yeah. Degrees. Um yo Lyric, I failed in maths, bro. I don't know what that means. <laughs>